Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Far Loan Sales. This releases on the 2nd of April 2019, priced at £12.49, that's $14.99 and €14.99. You can also pre-order it now and if you do, you get a 10% discount too. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. Right then, so it's a side-scrolling adventure uh, along the same lines as the likes of Inside. Um, quick tip at the start of the game, grab this mailbox, take it all the way to the end of the game with you. Um, you get an achievement for that. It is pretty simple to do as well. we'll just chuck it in the, uh, the locomotive as the uh, vehicle is called in a minute. I'll just leave it in there right till the end of the game. You have to make sure you're holding it though um, at the end. Just make our way through. Um, we'll jump on the locomotive in a minute. Should be just over here. So it's a sort of like a steam powered vehicle that we're going to be spending most of the game in um, lots to uh, lots to do with it keep it going uh, have to repair it put fires out all that sort of stuff um, and get upgrades for it as well they sort of come as you uh, play through can't miss those uh, here it is so we'll just take the elevator up to the top floor and we'll just leave the uh, mailbox on the bed. Let's leave that up there for now. We'll grab this chair because we need that for some fuel. Uh, little hooks as well about. I can zoom in with the left trigger. I'll show you actually. There you go. So some hooks. You can see we've got some stuff hooked up. Just for you to store stuff. You can leave stuff on the floor as well if you want to. Right, both those boxes there. Uh, so they're on that platform that feed the fuel. That goes through to the main compartment. Um, so this big button here makes it makes it go basically. Shut it down a little bit. There we go. Uh, to press this button there to release the steam. If you let it build quite up, quite high, um, so it starts flashing, you get a bit of a speed boost off that as well. And this button here drops the anchor on the floor to stop it. Um, button at the front is for the winch. Uh, you can just see front and back there's two little red hooks uh, there for winches and you need those a little bit later on and a bit of a speed boost you have to keep pressing this button as well to keep the power going otherwise it slowly comes back out again put the chair in get that ready as well quick otherwise it's going to auto release the button there we go now that steam build up quite a fair bit I'll press it at the last second Right, we need to stop here and we'll grab that stuff, Let's drop the anchor there. Um, you need to do a couple of playthroughs of this as well to fully complete it achievement wise. Um, main one being if you look at the very front of the engine there's a uh, sort of like a mileometer if you like. You need to get that over 9000 for an achievement so it will require two or three playthroughs. There's a speed run playthrough as well for completing it in under 99 minutes, so it's not all that long. Um, I'm still 
I think it's two away. I need to get there's these uh, like gas barrels that you need to find. There's six of them, and you have to blow them up inside the engine. Um, just cause some damage that you need to repair. I keep missing one of them. Um, I've, this is probably my fourth playthrough now. Don't really need all of those there. Let's just put a couple there. There we go. Do it like that. Right, so let's get moving again. Uh, so, just the other side of the energy um, meter, which is a big blue circle, you can see two red bars. They are the health, if you like, of. Uh, the first one is got two horizontal red lines, that is the speed, you can see that matches the same symbol right next to where my character stood. Uh, the diagonal red line is the health of the engine feeder. Um, so they take damage from like hailstorms, lightning and uh, crashing into things as well, all the uh, damage, as well as putting uh, the red barrels that I mentioned earlier on in here. Not the red barrels, the uh, uh, red canisters. Let's run down here quick, grab these. A little bit later on we'll get an attachment that, at, that hoovers these up. Um, so I've got to keep stopping. Just so we've got enough fuel. I believe those there. Really should pick those up. Right, I will actually grab these just so we've got them. Um, so this red barrel that's underneath the locomotive at the minute, I've got too much stuff there. Let's just push those down that way. Uh, this isn't one of the ones that explode. Uh, this is more of an oil drum type thing that will give you a full uh, energy cell. So save that for when we really need it. Um, let's dump these, no not there actually, let's dump them all here, quick. That should do for now. Let's get going again. I know I've left one behind but I've got more than enough there. Need to use that speed boost in a second. Should be coming up onto the first attachment in a second. There it is. Let's whack the anchor on before we crash into that there. There we go. Move it forward a little bit. Right, 
Right. So go up onto the roof. Up onto here. Let's zoom in. Again, you have to hold the left trigger in. I'll take that with us in a second, just for a bit of extra fuel. Let's press and hold this. That should now. There we go. Got our sails installed. Um, so the sails will only work when the wind is blowing obviously and you can see the wind direction from this red flag here at the front. Right, let's drop this on here. So as we go back up and we'll activate the sails. There we go. You can also use them at the same time as the engine. Get some decent speed off them. area fire there. Should have stopped a bit earlier. So grab the hose. You can see the red light flashing on it as well. As you know there's a fire somewhere. Let's put that out quick. There we go. Right we need to uh, exit out the back. Grab that. Um, there is an achievement as well for collecting uh, 15 items and having them actually inside the locomotive all at once. Um, so if you really fancy doing that just grab everything you see and uh, just try and keep using the bigger stuff for fuel um, so you could have picked that suitcase up that's just gone underneath the locomotive there as an example two things there to have picked up let's drop that there that was a waste should have pressed the button then stop there again never mind no fires but we have caused some damage oh there's a fire now That's about right I right, drop that there just grab these while we're here as well just so we've got them drop them on these hooks there we go There's a couple of puzzle elements that come to play as well. 
Uh, so this bit we've got to work out how to uh, get across this bridge. Oh, we'll go back up, grab the barrel, feed this engine. Grab that lantern there just so we've got a bit of extra something. Let's run across here. Press that button just there. Good to go, we just need to be careful now with damaging this before we get the repair tool. Grab the barrel. Grab that one just because we needed it. We need to move now. Come on, you can do it. by lightning in a second. There we go. Nice bit of fire up on the sails. Pull that out quick.
Need to run out of here quick if we can grab that. At least one of these. That'll do. Slowly get in there. Get this damage fixed as soon as we can. Oh right, yeah, gonna get the next the next expansion for the locomotive anyway. Um so let's just chuck that into there. Just so it's done. Now we need to go up onto the top. Grab that. Drop that through there, that should go inside. Jump over this. We use this barrel to fire that that engine up. should slowly roll in this thing here is our next installing mod type thing it's the repair tool so need to repair this button with it press that I should let it go down now oh no we need to stand on that to apologize stay on it there we go now we can go in. Alright, so that's now been installed, so we can grab that. Start repairing. That noise there that we just got means that it's been repaired. We should get the same noise when we repair this thing up here. Go. Oh, let's get rid of that. I'll set off again, but as I do this, we are going to leave the video there for today. So this has been a bit of a preview of uh, Far Loan Sales. As we said earlier on, it is available on the 2nd of April. You can pre-order it now, so go and check it out if you're interested. Hope this video has given you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.